Hello, my name is Catherine Yangbao, a researcher with the Houston Education Research Consortium, also known as HERC. Today, I will discuss findings from HERC's ongoing career technical education, aka city study. In particular, I will share results about CTE clusters and college majors for CTE graduates in the Houston region. Today's presentation is part two of a five-part series exploring the post-secondary trajectories of CTE graduates in Texas and Houston. This presentation will look at match between high school CTE cluster and college majors for CTE graduates. As a matter of fact, the state of Texas and the Houston regional results are quite similar, and we'll have both of them in our upcoming brief. In this presentation, we focus on Houston. Before jumping into findings, I want to share the background on our research question and data. Today's research question, do CTE career clusters match college majors? <clears throat> Excuse me. To answer this question, we'll begin with majors chosen by students when they first enrolled in college, and then we'll look at graduate majors separately by associate's degree and bachelor's degree. So what is considered as a match? In this example, we have CT clusters of arts on the left. In the middle, we have families of CIP, which stands for classification of instructional programs. And on the right, we have college major. The NCAS group college majors into CIP families. When the CTE cluster is in the same general area as the CIP family, we have a match. As a reminder, Based on graduate CTE engagement during high school, we have grouped them into two broad categories. CTE graduates are those who have the most CTE engagement in high school, either completing or concentrating in one career cluster. While non-CTE graduates have less engagement with CTE as a whole or with a single career cluster. Today, we focus on the top three CTE career clusters in the Houston area, which account for about half of all CTE graduates in the region. We will have more details on some other clusters in the brief. Now, looking at CTE graduates from the top three clusters in Houston, among those who have enrolled in college at some point, only two out of 10 CTE graduates first college major matched their CTE cluster and only one in 10 CTE graduates earning an associate's degree did so in a match major. In comparison, a match higher proportion, four in 10 CTE graduates earning a bachelor's degree did so in a match major. In the Houston area, over two in three high school students are CTE graduates, and about half of them focus on the top three clusters including 25% in business marketing and finance, 17% in health science, and 9% in arts, AV tech, and communications. We'll start with first enrollment in college. Overall, about 65% of city graduates in Houston enrolled in college at some point. For the top three clusters, 61% from the business cluster, 71% from health cluster, and slightly lower, 58% from the art cluster graduates have enrolled in college. Then what major did they enroll in when they first entered college? We see 43% major in humanities and the interdisciplinary studies, followed by 10% in business and marketing, and then 9% in physical and biosciences, and 7% in healthcare. Those are the top four major families. Now let's take a closer look at match between CTE cluster and college major. The left side of the graph shows the top three CTE clusters in Houston, and the right side shows the percentage of CTE graduates who choose a college major, matching their CTE career clusters the first time they enrolled in college. The thickness of those slides represents the share of graduates in each CTE cluster who reported a matching major. Overall, we have 22% match. Specifically for the business cluster graduates who have enrolled in college, 17% of their first college major matched their CTE cluster in business and marketing. That leaves 83% non-match. 
At the top of the non-match list, we see 44% major in humanities and interdisciplinary studies. Among the health cluster graduates who enrolled in college, one in three of their first college major matched their city career cluster, including 17% in physical and biosciences and 15% in healthcare. Living slightly over two thirds non match, again, we see humanities and interdisciplinary studies on the top of the list. For the arts cluster, among those who enrolled in college, 16% of the first college major matched their city career cluster, including 9% in visual and performing arts and 6% in communication. The majority, 84%, did not match. Once again, we see humanities and the interdisciplinary studies has the large proportion of CT graduates. Next, we move on to associate's degree. In the next few slides, we will talk about CT graduates from the top three clusters who have earned associate's degree. In total, there are about 24,000. Overall, we only have 12% of CT graduates earning an associate's degree did so in a matching major. Keep in mind, associate's degree are often general and not necessarily classified um, in any particular program. So the overall matching is lower than what we saw previously. In the business cluster, 12% of its graduates earning an associate's degree did so in a matching major in business and marketing. Leaving 88% of their associate's degree major did not match their CTE career cluster. Among the non-match, most students, almost three quarters, major in humanities and interdisciplinary studies. In the health cluster, similarly, 12% of its graduates earning an associate degree did so in a matching major, including 8% in healthcare and 4% in physical and biosciences. The rest 88% did not match. The large majority, 77%, major in humanities and interdisciplinary studies. For the arts cluster, only 10% of its graduates learning associate's degree did so in a matching major, including 5% in visual and performing arts and 5% in communications. That leaves 90% non-match. Once again, we see humanities and the interdisciplinary studies on the top of the non-match list. Last, we'll look at bachelor's degree. You may note that city graduates are more likely to earn a bachelor's degree than a associate's degree, even though most students enrolled in two-year college than four-year college. We'll have more details on that in our next presentation. In the next few slides, we'll focus on CT graduates who have earned bachelor's degree. Overall, we have a much higher percentage of match between CT cluster and college major for CT graduates who have earned a bachelor's degree. That is 40%. One in three business clusters graduates earning a bachelor's degree did so in a matching major in marketing, in business and marketing. Two thirds did not match, but this time the non match list is no longer dominated by humanities and the interdisciplinary studies, which is very popular in community colleges. For the health cluster, half of its graduates earning a bachelor's degree did so in a match major, including 27% in physical and biological science and 23% in healthcare. The other half did not match. For the arts cluster, we see a smaller percentage of match, only 28%, which includes 16% in communication and 12% in visual and performing arts. That leaves 72% did not match. To recap what we have seen so far, the match between CTE career cluster and college major is low early in the college careers of CTE graduates. For example, any two in 10 CTE graduates first college major match their CTE career cluster, 
and only one intensity graduates earning an associate's degree did so in a matching major. However, it improved significantly when they enter and graduate from a four-year college. On average, four out of 10 CT graduates earning a bachelor's degree did so in a matching major. And that number is even higher for some specific clusters. This is what we have for today on matching between CT career clusters and college majors for CT graduates who enrolled in college. Next week, we'll have more on degree attainment for CT graduates in Texas. Thank you very much for listening to us today. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to contact us at the email address on the screen. We look forward to share additional results from the CT projects with you very soon. Thanks again, and don't forget a pen desk.